Hello, my name is Sierra Pittman and I'm an HPLC product specialist at Shimazu Scientific Instruments. In this video, I will be showcasing the features of our method development software, Lab Solutions MD. The method development software is used with the Shimazu method scouting system where up to eight different solvents and 12 different columns can be tested. Lab Solutions MD uses analytical quality by design or AQBD concepts from the ICH guidelines such as Q2 and Q14 to maintain compliance during your method development process. Additionally, Lab Solutions MD alleviates the tedious task of testing, analyzing, and comparing several individual runs. By streamlining the method development workflow into three phases, screening, optimization, and robustness, the user receives the best and the most robust method at the end of the process. Let's look at each of the phases and the features that each one offers. On this page, we can navigate to our instrument configuration, access our database to log columns and mobile phases, set up our data run, and view post run. Let's start by setting up our screening phase. This phase will give the user the best column and mobile phase pairing. In this screening phase, you will select up to eight solvents and up to 12 columns that you want to test. To test the different combinations of mobile phases and columns, you can select the full factorial experimental design or another existing experimental design preloaded in the software. We recommend the full factorial setting on the screening phase. A batch queue will be generated in Lab Solutions for you, and the instrument will automatically acquire all the data for the various conditions. After completing the instrument run, the results from our runs are shown in the table and the post-run feature of the software. If we look at the response settings, we see our evaluation values. The evaluation value is calculated using the separated peak number and resolution factor. The data can be sorted by the highest to lowest evaluation value to determine the best column and solvent pairing. This information is then used in the optimization phase to determine the optimal values for our other conditions. In our optimization phase, we have used the narrow down column and solvent pairings determined from the screening phase to set up our run. The next step is to select the type of DOE we want to use as well as the parameters we would like to optimize. To save resources, the Box Beckham, Central Composite, or Plekin Berman design can be selected. In the optimization phase, we can test a variety of different parameters like flow rates, column oven temperatures, injection volumes, gradients, and time parameters. The step sizes and number of steps are adjustable to your testing needs. Just like the screening phase, the batch is created for you in Lab Solutions. In our post-run window, we can create predictive models such as 2D and 3D models, as well as heat maps to determine the optimal running conditions. The predictive model design space can be created using either least squares or Bayesian inference. With the heat maps, we can select points on the map to generate predictive chromatograms. This gives us an idea of what our chromatography will look like at the selected running conditions. The red areas represent the best conditions. The software can also pinpoint on the heat map what the best running conditions are. The conditions identified in the optimization phase give us the best method and are used in the robustness phase to determine the method's variability. In the robustness phase, we can select our exact running conditions determined from the optimization phase. Whichever parameters you would like to test for variability, you will change the step size by a small margin. In this example, we are changing flow rate and column oven temperature by a step size of 0.1 and 1. This will test the point above and below our optimal condition. A batch queue again will be generated in lab solutions. For our robustness data, we can determine the variability of the method by running ANOVA. In our ANOVA window, we see our statistical outcomes for our optimal conditions. At the end of the robustness phase, we have the most optimal method for the sample, robustness data, and the report that can be directly attached to the regulatory submission documents. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website at www.ssi.shimazu.com. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.